good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savova's channel. This is Alexander Sudarev, as always, and we are at the construction site, where Savova's Design and Technological Bureau is being built in full swing. Let us talk to you today about what construction works are taking place today and what works have already been completed. Now we are standing in front of the main square, opposite the main entrance. This is the place where the asphalt will be laid in the near future, where the vertical planning will be done, and for now, the process that you are watching on the screens is underway. That is, what has been done? Wells have been installed, the ground has been leveled, and then the geotextile has been laid. And now we are standing on the sand that was backfilled back here. Also, this is all going to be leveled here in the next few days and brought to the point where it will be backfilled with crushed stone and then asphalt will follow. Let's move on and see what else is there. As you can see, the area has already been transformed in a larger format. Temporary sand storages, which used to be in this place, have been moved further. And these are the last parts of it, which are already being distributed smoothly over the territory. Here we can see the elements that will make up our pipeline, the connecting elements. And they are not just standing here. Now we are going to go in there. Let's move quickly. Here we are standing on the very chamber that was presented in a different form for quite a long time. It was open. Now it is waterproofed, fully assembled, and not just backfilled with sand, but inside we see the very elements that we saw outside. And what's even more relevant, we are seeing valves and taps here. I think the guys are going to show you that now. The whole place is now ready for the water connection to the building. This is where the cold water supply for the fire protection system comes in. And it's going into that corner of the building over there. The pipes have already been laid underground, they have been brought into the building, which I congratulate us on. We can already start installing the fire suppression system. Here we can see the sewerage trays. Here we have the household sewerage and stormwater drainage. Behind them are the manholes, which we will soon fill with sand and hide them under a layer of asphalt. It will be green territory as well, green zone. And everything will be transformed into a completely different shape. And here we see quite an interesting picture. A temporary road, slabs. So far it is still here. But in the next few days it should be dismantled according to the plans, and work will continue here to form a vertical layer of planning. If we pay attention, we will see a large number of manholes and trays. Here we can see the trench, we can see the grounding. The grounding of the building is being finalized. Communications have been pulled through. The pipes previously extended to the substation have already been partially buried. Backfitting is underway. Our four transformers are sticking out there. They are needed to ensure optimal operation and energy savings for the entire building. And communications are already connected to them. So if you look at that point, the pink building, the reddish building, is the substation from where our building will be connected. Let's go and take a closer look. Here you can see all these trenches. and our valiant employees who are doing their direct task, working with the trays of the sewer system. And then we can see the cables, which are partially buried and go into the substation. You can also look to the right, where the tractor is driving. 
The crushed stone is being leveled and the guys are already preparing to receive the asphalt. Let's move on. And now we have moved beyond the construction site. And here is exactly the place where the excavation works on the heat network connection were carried out. We can see that we cut off the entrance to the building for our neighbors. By the way, a very good reason to take a break. Just kidding. There is a second entrance and it is fully functional. So for now we have to use this entrance. Well, we quickly and promptly completed the subconcrete and waterproofed it, where there will be special load on the ground in the places of motor transport passage. We have installed trays, and the pipes are already going from our territory. Next to the works, we can see those very trays, covered with waterproofing. They will be loaded down. There is only a little bit left, and the heating main will be looped, and we will be able to get a source of hot water in the building. Now we will walk along the trench, we will reach the chamber, where the connection is carried out, and we will talk about one more important and joyful event that we have had. Let's go. We have reached the chamber. Here we have the heating main coming up. All of this is brought into the building. There is a connection. The main goes on. What's happening here? Everything is also good. There are valves and equipment installed. And this means that we are ready to connect the cold water supply to our building. That is, all the mains are already connected. It will be left to work only with the networks that remain on the other side of the building which I congratulate everyone on. This is indeed a very important event and an important milestone. Of course, it is too early to relax, because there are still a huge number of wells, trays and everything that needs to be worked with. But today Moscow Geo Trust is going to work here. They will take measurements and in case of a positive picture, all this will be filled with sand in the near future. So here we go. And here we can see the pipes that have entered the building. And this is just the heating main. And what happens behind this door is what you've already partially seen, but now the guys will show you from the inside what we've been able to achieve. And before we leave here, pay attention to these wells. Pay attention to how high they are above the ground level. And that means that all this space will be filled with sand. Even the building looks like it's floating above the foundation. And there's a lot of work to be done here. Pay attention to how compacted the ground in this place. After filling with crushed stone, and after the construction equipment, dump trucks, tractors and vibrator rollers continuously drive on it. How compacted it is. Now we are inside the building, just in the place where the heat main is brought. Here is a rather deep pit, where two pipes of the heating main enter. The pipelines will then be lifted here and connected to the heating point equipment. And this is the next important stage for the project. Everything you see here is called an individual heat point. All this equipment together, after piping, will provide us with heat and hot and cold water. We moved this unit away from the wall to complete the finishing work on the staircase. Then we'll put it back in place. And the rest of the equipment, except for a couple of tanks and this unit, 
stands on its marks. And then the specialist will install pipelines, large and small. And from this heating point, everything will go to the radiators on the floors of our building. It should be noted that the room is quite compact. The designers have done a good job. Everything has been compactly arranged in accordance with the requirements for this room. I think further comments are unnecessary. Work on the heat supply system is also being carried out in the administrative and utilities building. In this room there is a collector unit from which the heating radiators in the various rooms are piped. The heat carrier will be supplied through these pipes. Further, these pipes will be filled with screed. Distribution for installation of heating radiators is already done here. We have already talked about practically everything. The works are already at the final stage in the area of electrical and heat installation. Here we can see that they have already started wiring of electricity in the room, like in an exhibition hall. Here we have meeting rooms. These cables are brought to the tables and furniture. The day is not far off when the finishing works will be done. The walls will be painted. All this will be dignified and noble. Glass partitions will be installed, which we have already previously agreed on and selected the design. Yana Olegovna, please tell me, how do you like working in your new place? In a nutshell, it's great, despite what is here and what is not here yet. Not everything has been put into operation yet. We are getting ready for that. It's very nice and spacious. Have you been there? Yes, we have. In our next videos we will try to show you what the testing laboratory looks like today. But that will be in other videos. And so this is a great reason to subscribe to the channel. Click on all of the buttons, bells, thumbs up. Just don't press thumbs down, only if you are going to give constructive criticism or something like that. Be sure to follow the life of the Solomash project. It is developing. The pace of development is good enough. But the uniqueness is that in this situation, each of you can influence the pace of work that is being done both inside and outside the building, both with documentation, with developments, and with preparation of production batches of angled grinders. The higher the rate of receipt of investment, the higher the rate of execution of works. Today's Savalmash project can digest absolutely any sums, because many works can be paralleled. So I wish all of us good luck. And see you soon.